The Taliban is now in complete control of Afghanistan nearly two decades after the United States overthrew the regime. The U.S. Embassy in Kabul is advising all Americans there to shelter in place. President Biden plans to address the nation about the escalating situation later this afternoon. This as a deadly scene is unfolding at the airport in Kabul. At least seven people have died in an attempt to flee the city. CBS 2's Roxana Sabari is in Kabul with more. The desperation is undeniable as Afghans fleeing the Taliban scramble to climb onto a C-17, taking off from Kabul airport. This video appears to show those who couldn't hang on. More chaos on the ground as gunfire rang out. But the U.S. is deploying 1,000 more troops to the airport as Washington scrambles to evacuate Americans from Afghanistan. No one, including us, expected the Taliban to reach Kabul yesterday so fast. In the past few days, the Taliban have taken city after city and they've approached on the capital. And now, with news that they are here, uh, we are heading to the airport. But with scenes like this and unable to get on a flight, we decided to stay. Taliban fighters soon declared an end to the war from the comfort of the presidential palace. Just hours after strolling into Kabul, just 11 days after launching an offensive, overwhelming U.S. trained Afghan forces in cities across Afghanistan. Eight year old Sharife told us she wasn't afraid when she lost her leg in a Taliban attack on her village four months ago. Does anything scare you? Not being allowed back to school, she said, adding she dreams of becoming a doctor. Pashtana Durrani was helping educate girls in Kandahar until the Taliban seized the southern city last week, and she went into hiding. What do you think would happen to you if the Taliban find you now? I don't want to just assume, oh, they're going to come and murder me, right? But I would really like for them to accept for a fact that we are just the same people from the same country, right? I just have different views when it comes to girls' education. The Taliban have pledged not to harm civilians and to respect women's rights under Sharia law. We met a little girl who wants to be a doctor one day. What do you think her future will look like? I'm afraid about all those girls, including the girl that wants to be a doctor, because for that you have to go to a school. And can she go to school in this regime? Can she? I'm not sure. Roxana Saberi, CBS News, Kabul.